or stand. It's obviously up to everyone's choice. Um, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us um, as we come together to talk about mental health and the spread of the message that you are not alone. Um, here with me today are some of my council colleagues. I saw Regional Councilor Joanne Dyes. I saw Regional Councilor uh, Marilyn Crawford, uh, Local Councilor Nancy Henry, and I think that's everybody. Uh, we also have representatives from MPP Barnes's office, and I think, no, I don't think I saw anyone from MP Holland's office. Um, we also have CAO Shane Baker with us today, um, the Chief Librarian Sarah Vaisler, as well as the Director of uh, Public and Strategic Affairs, Christy McLarty, uh, as well as uh, all our AJAX staff. We have a full complement with us today. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that the land on which we gather is situated within the traditional and treaty territories of the Mississaugas of Scugog Island First Nation, signatories of the Gunshot Treaty of 1788 and the Williams Treaties of 1923. This land is and will continue to be home to the Indigenous peoples. Let us acknowledge the mistakes um, and traumas of the past through authenticity and support truth and reconciliation as we move forward with kindness and respect as a community. I don't think I introduced myself. Uh, I'm Deputy Mayor Sterling Lee. Uh, as, we, as we all know, there's a uh, great event to be here today uh, because um, the key message is mental health is health. Uh, often we let stigma or, or shame prevent us from having these important conversations or uh, talking about our own personal challenges or seeking help. This installment behind me is intended to serve as a visual reminder to those in our community who have lost someone, going through something, or know someone who is struggling that, and that to remind them that they are not alone. We still have so much more to do, and I see how hard we are working to move the needle on mental health and implement more supports. I'd like to recognize some community leaders joining us for today's unveiling. We have representatives from the Mental Health Outreach Program. We have representatives from the Primary Care Outreach Program. Ontario Shores Center for Mental Health Sciences, Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Lead, Shauna Moore. Shauna, are you? Okay. Um, and so, yes, thank you all for being here for the support of this initiative. I'd now like to invite a representative from MPP Barnes office to say a few words. All right, we will move on over home. Um, so for those of you who don't know the story behind this, um, this installation was brought forward uh, to council as a motion by Regional Councillor Marilyn Crawford and Councillor Lisa Bauer. I'd like to invite uh, Regional Councillor Crawford uh, up to introduce today's special guest, Marilyn. Not Maryland, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you see that? That's a bike on the trail. This has been a crazy day. Very emotional, and uh, it's been great to spend some time with some very special people today. Uh, before I introduce uh, our guest, I'd like, you to I'd like to tell you a little bit about an Ajax resident that reached out to me um, probably about six months ago and asked if it would be possible to have a white heart installed at the waterfront. Um, Michelle, do you mind if I tell your story a little bit? Oh, sorry. Uh, Michelle lost her son, her only child, in December of 2023. Her, sp her son spent time living on the East Coast, and Jordan's friends reached out to Michelle to share their condolences their memory and, and their memories, and to tell them about White, the Operation White Heart. Um, program that was going on uh, down east. It's a grassroots campaign that had people installing white hearts out of landscape stones in their gardens to remember loved ones lost to suicide or impacted by mental health. Michelle did two things. She installed her own white heart in memory of Jordan and then reached out to me to see if we could have it done here. I want to thank Michelle for uh, continuing to nudge me and ask questions about <laughs> when it was going to happen and where it was going to happen. I do appreciate that. Uh, and I want to personally thank uh, staff, uh, our operations team, uh, and I think, is that Andrew over there? Andrew? Uh, and Dave Meredith, uh, um, Recreation, our, specifically Christine, who worked very, very hard to bring our guest here tonight, today. And uh, I just, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, because this does mean a lot. Most importantly, we are the first municipality outside of New Brunswick to install a white heart in a public place. And we like to be first. So, well done. 
Uh, now I'm going to uh, introduce our very honored guest today. Gary Brown started this project in 2021 in New Brunswick to spread the awareness on mental health and suicide. What started as a few white hearts in greater St. John area has grown to nearly 700 hearts in public and private spaces from the East Coast as far as, far as Calgary. To tell us more about the White Heart, uh, the Operation White Heart, please give us a war give Gary a warm Ajax welcome. Come on up. Thanks, Gary. You're welcome. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Uh, I just want to say a big thank you to the town of Ajax for seeing this for what it is. It's a, it's a great initiative that's going to create awareness and create that conversation. Michelle, I really want to thank you for getting after Marilyn about this. You've done a good job, and I'm sure Madison's and Nova Scotia are pretty proud, right? Uh, so I'm just going to read a little poem before I get started, uh, just something I wrote for the Operation Whiteheart. I gotta find it. So I, I kind of just threw this together real quick and uh, I kind of like it, so I thought I'd share it with you. So, Operation Whiteheart. Oh, Whiteheart of freedom, love, and hope, a sign of which to help you cope. When you see these hearts on the land as you walk, know it's a symbol, it's okay to talk. As you walk by a heart that is made of white, we hope that it brings you from darkness to light. You matter. So that's just a little poem to keep in mind. Um, and that's what the White Heart is all about. It's, uh, it's about creating the awareness, creating the conversation. And I'm going to go into a little bit of how I got started here. Um, in 2019, uh, a friend of mine at uh, work at the refinery lost his daughter to suicide. And... Uh, I was kind of touched by this. I was pretty ignorant up until that time about mental health, and I learned fast that mental health is a big problem. Uh, so they started their own little Maddie Murphy Memorial Fund, and uh, I asked Mike if I could go around the refinery and sell some stickers for them, and I did. And I went around selling stickers to all the guys at the refinery, and every time I sold one to somebody, they would tell me their story, how they struggled, how they almost took their life or how they lost somebody and I'm like wow now I'm really realizing that uh, we got a big problem right uh, so after that I uh, decided you know what I let's do a little bit more here I said let's build a park a memorial park and I built that park in uh, St. John's North End uh, I had two benches designed with ribbon ends on it and one for Maddie and one for young Carson Hoyt uh, so there's two dedicated benches for them and we had a big mural painted on the wall in the back. And in the center of this park is a great big 70 foot white heart that I decided to put there. And everybody asked me why the white heart. And so this is why, because that park had that white heart. And the people could see in the park were quite intrigued by the, the white heart. So I decided after, it was September on a World Suicide Prevention Day that we opened that park. And I sat around all winter wondering what I could do now, right? So I said, you know what? Let's take this big heart and shrink it down to a three-foot heart and put it on people's landscape. And I put it out there, and the first week I had a list of 40 people that wanted one of these white hearts for that reason. So it took off from there. And that's why I chose the white heart, because of the park. Uh, the, the white heart kind of signifies uh, mental health for us now. Uh, so what does it mean? Uh, they touched a little bit on what it means. Uh, so when you put a white heart on your lawn, you're letting people know you care, for one thing. Uh, you let people know they're not alone. You matter. It's okay not to be okay. It lets people know that reach out and others lend an ear, right? Uh, and the most important thing, it, it creates that conversation. Like, oh, if somebody's walking their dog by your house and you got a white heart on your lawn, and they've seen a couple other ones around town, they might stop and say, why am I seeing these hearts, right? So you tell them why, what it's about, and they say, and now you two might open up to each other a little bit about 
what you might have been through, your struggles, and they realize that you're not the only one that's struggling. And the thing is, we're all struggling one way or another, and that's that's what it's all about. We're all struggling in our own way, and we just need to need to kind of comprehend that a little better, so that we don't jump the gun when someone's in a bad mood. What's up for you know? What's up with that person? Let them be in the bad mood. There's something going on with them, right? That's that's what we got to think. Uh, so, with this one being the first one in Ontario. My hope now is uh, that this just starts spreading westward more, all right? Like, I've done a few out west, and uh, there's a, a military retreat out in Calgary, or Caroline, just in north of Calgary, and they flew me out to do a white heart out there with them on their retreat for the military vets and first responders. That's where they go to have some, some reflection, and I was happy to do that. Uh, maybe a lot of people do it themselves. So each province probably has three or four hearts around somewhere. And now with, with this going on here today, I'm hoping that you can take it to the next level and each town starts doing their own thing like this here and bring other people on board. Uh, there's, you know, I have a Facebook group called Operation Whiteheart. You can go on there and you can see videos of how I do it, and, but there's different ways anybody can do it uh, as long as it's a white heart. It signifies the same thing, right? Uh, I dig the ground up. It takes me three hours sometimes. Uh, you can just uh, do what you want to do. If you want to put it on a piece of plywood and lay it on the grass, that way you don't have to dig your grass up. That's fine. Uh, sometimes we have uh, office people. They don't have a lawn, but they have an office door, and they like to hang one on the door. So we have these wooden ones that we make. Operation Wider, you matter, and that people know that Operation Wider is about mental health. So that works too. Uh, yeah. So with that being said, uh, I'm just so happy that uh, Ajax has me here today to speak on this and tr try to give you a clear picture of what it's for. I think that's pretty clear. Um, yeah, th the thing is now is I'm hoping that this catches on here and takes it west of here, and I'll take care of the east because I don't like to travel. <laughs> So, yeah, I want to thank you all for coming today. Uh, it's, it's been a pleasure meeting uh, everybody. Uh, I want to thank Christine for taking care of me, and Marilyn for getting everything arranged. Or, no, Marilyn didn't arrange everything. Marilyn was surprised I was here. <laughs> they, Christine took the time to surprise her and the rest of the group, right? Um, Samantha, Sam? Yeah, Sam, right? Yeah, Sam is the other girl that helped us out. Is that right, Sam? Yeah, that's uh, Sam. I almost forgot her name. So thanks. Thanks for keeping the secret from uh, Marilyn. And uh, Michelle, thanks for coming. It's, it was really nice to meet you. And I'm going to turn the mic over to whoever is next. Thanks so much. Thank you, Gary, for sharing that story and that poem and beautiful words. And uh, it's absolutely going to take off. Um, we are absolutely trendsetters here in the town of Ajax. Um, so now we have um, MPP Barnes joining us to bring some greetings on behalf of the province. MPP Barnes. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, such a pleasure to be here. Thank you, St Sterling. I am so proud. I know when Marilyn mentioned this uh, initiative, she was just so pumped about it, and I know... Um, she gave a lot of um, recognition to Michelle, who she said was a driving force in really getting her to complete this project. So thank you, Marilyn and Michelle um, and Gary for, you know, crafting something that is such a tribute, such a tribute to people that we have lost. Um, you did this with care and intention, and it really symbolized the compassion, understanding and hope. And we can look at the heart and we can think of each curve of this of this heart as just, you know, uh, rep a reflection of the complexity of emotions that people that suffer from suicide and mental health go through. It serves as a reminder of the importance of connection, like you've talked about, the need for open conversations about mental health and the unwavering support that we need to offer to each other. And as we stand here today, we not just unveil this, but we 
we reflect on the memories of those that we've lost, oftentimes too soon to, to suicide, often because they feel isolated or alone and not connected. And so thank you for the initiative that you've done and for the town of Ajax to bring in this forward mental health is so good. We are, we're getting to the point that we are talking about mental health and really reflecting and removing the stigma around mental health that anybody can suffer from mental health. And it doesn't necessarily have to be to the point where we, we um, commit suicide, but just even a day that we get up, that a day that we have to drag ourselves out of bed because, you know, we're just not feeling like it today or to the, to a day where you know we feel so down that it is just a day that we don't even feel like connecting with others so thank you so much for that and thank you to the town of Ajax for being a forerunner in this in Ontario and for you know for us to continue to keep our, the conversations up around mental health congratulations and uh, thank you Gary again for coming all this way thank you and if you Barnes, I'm sure you'll be sharing the story to, for your colleagues around the province, and we'll get them. Uh, we'll take care of the West, like uh, we, we promised Gary. Um, so now I'd like to ask Council Gary and PP Barnes to join um, me as we unveil a mock-up of the plaque that'll be installed here at Rotary Park. Hello, test. Perfect. Well, thanks again for everyone for coming uh, and, and, and those of us joining online. Uh, as always, the Town of Ajax encourages everyone uh, to be kind, to, be kind to themselves uh, and each other. Don't be afraid to ask for help, and let's show uh, grace and patience with each other. Thank you very much. <laughs>